a pattern that comes up over and over with later identified autistics who are trying to make their lives better is that they encounter people online saying, oh, you need to work on your sensory stuff, and that seems like an easy place to start. And it is, compared to a lot of the other places you can start making your life better. And they dive in, they figure out all the sensory stuff that they've been shutting out, that they've been working to dissociate from, or to ignore, or to numb, or to cancel out in various ways. And they do find things that they can make better, and yet it feels like everything is just more annoying, like it's more intense, in fact. Um, it doesn't feel like it's getting better at all. Or maybe like a few little things do, but overall it's just like it's getting on your nerves more. And there might be this idea of like, I thought this was supposed to feel better. What I would like to say is, don't worry, this is a part of the process. It's the early part. So part of what's going on here is that you're actually letting in the feelings, the physical sensations, possibly even the emotions, in ways that you haven't for a long time. And that can feel like it feels, it like there's actually sensations or there's a lot more of them. And that can be unfamiliar. And part of the, the overwhelm is simply the increase in awareness of the, the sensations. Part of it is that it's unfamiliar, like you don't know what's going on. This doesn't feel like what you're used to. And in many areas of life, when something is unfamiliar, even when it might be actually a positive thing, just the unfamiliarity of it is, is hard to deal with. Um, and part of what's going on here is that for most of us who learned how to block our sensory experiences, our emotional experiences, um, who learned to, to dissociate from them, who blocked it to, to the extreme of alexithemia, um, like I did. Um, when we start to feel those things, because we haven't blocked them for so long, or because we have blocked them for so long, we just don't know what to do with it. And very, very likely, part of the reason why you started blocking that stuff in the first place was because you grew up in an environment in which you didn't have the supports to be able to deal with it. So you didn't have that um, learning of what was going on and what to do with these feelings, with these sensations. So that's a new skill set that you can learn. And as you learn that, as you gain more experience with it, it will feel less unfamiliar and eventually more familiar and eventually more comfortable. But as you gain this experience and you learn new skills and how to deal with the physical sensations, how to recognize and identify emotional inputs and what to do about them and how to deal with them. And, um, and as you're, you're gaining this experience and these new skills, it will be, it will actually be getting better things will be improving and you'll start to use those physical and emotional sensations as signals for useful information in your life that you can do something with. So um, without getting into the entirety of all of these new skills that you can develop, I want to, to address just an entry point into it and there'll be other videos where I'll get into more. But here's a way to start. If you can start thinking about physical sensations and emotional inputs as signals for, uh, in, for information about something that you need, that's a good framework to start with. So what I mean by that is that when you're when you're feeling, you're like, you're noticing, you're starting to get agitated. 
start questioning that. Okay, so what am I agitated about? Is it a physical thing? Like there's a sound outside that's driving me nuts or there's a smell in here or um, my body is in an uncomfortable position. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe I could move and then the um, my body's more comfortable and the agitation abates a little bit. If there's a smell in here, maybe you can turn on a fan, open a window, um, add another smell that can mask it. Uh, if it's a lo loud noise outside, maybe you can put on some some ear defenders, some noise canceling headphones, music, something to drown it out, or depending on what it is, you may or may not be able to ask the, the noise to stop. Uh, um, but you can use the the agitation that you're feeling as say as a way to say okay so what is it that's causing this ag agitation what am I needing here what is going on if it's an emotional thing like I'm feeling angry or upset or overwhelmed or happy or excited like what is it that I'm happy, excited, overwhelmed, upset, angry about? Like, what is the source of that? And or what is that feeling trying to tell me? Am I feeling something because I need, or what is it that I need that's creating the sensation? Do I need more peace in my life? Do I need security? Do I need better communication? Do I need connection with this person? Do I need to feel valued? Do I need like um, more excitement? Do I need novelty? Do I need... There's all sorts of different needs that when they aren't present in our life, they create emotions. Um, so that's a way to start playing with this idea that physical sensations and emotional sensations are information sources that tell you what you need and as you figure out what you need you have information that you can use to try and find ways to meet those needs and hopefully make the situation better or recreate a good situation again in the future. So as you're beginning this process of, of making your life better and you're starting to become more aware of what's going on inside and if it's feeling just like everything is more intense, everything is more annoying, everything is just bothering you more, it's more overwhelming, take heart. This is a process of becoming more integrated with the information that's in your body, that's with what's in your mind. Um, and it's unfamiliar, that's okay. It will become more familiar as you do this. And as you get more experience in, in figuring out what's happening inside you, what are the causes of it, what are the needs for it, and being able to find strategies that are more and more useful to meet those needs, it'll you'll be gaining a lot of useful skills in, in making your life better. Okay, I hope something in this was useful for you. Uh, if you'd like more videos like this, you can click the subscribe and notifications button. Um, totally okay either way if you want to or not. And I hope you have a near a wonderful day. Take care.